AFCON 2023 final is here. Guys, we have gone through 53 games. Literally doing prediction, doing the recap. 53 games on TikTok. I, hey, hey, we have done over 170 videos. It's actually insane. This is it. This is the culmination of the tournament. Before I even get to this prediction, I just want to thank all of you guys. All of you guys have been amazing. Nigeria going up against Cote d'Ivoire. Who is going to win this game? First of all, I don't know what Cote d'Ivoire are doing in this final. It is good for them and good for the tournament, good for the home team. But I have just counted them out because they have not looked like a team that was even worthy of even getting here. Credit to them. They have done well. They have, I wouldn't even say proven me wrong. Because the games they've won, they've not outplayed the other opponent. Maybe the semi-final game, I feel like they had, con they had more control over that game than any game they've played in this tournament. Or maybe the first game, I think it was against uh, Equator, no, against Guinea-Bissau. Um, yeah, South Africa um, really gave Nigeria uh, a rough time, made it all the way to the penalties, and I believe uh, we saw something in, in... We saw a way you can nullify this Nigeria team, yeah? Like, you just put pressure on them, make them pass from their own area. Don't don't pressure them too high, because if you pressure them too high, Osimhen is trying to make that run um, over the top, uh, over your uh, behind your back line. So, I think the big, the best tactic is, I, I wouldn't say it's sit back. I would just say not to pressure too high. Let them try and play from the back because that is one of their biggest weaknesses. But Cote d'Ivoire also not going to do the same. That's one thing we've seen. Um, the one thing about the coach, Jose Peseiro, the Nigerian coach, is he tells the guys, you're not playing in our own area. But if you kick the ball long and Cote d'Ivoire are sort of sat back, you're playing into their strength. So the only way to beat such a team is to try and play from the back. And that is where I think mistakes happen, especially... Um, uh, Ajayi, Truster Kong, and Calvin Bassi. They just they just don't make good passes like two feet. But once they're the opposition half, they are they they come to life. Lukman is the main man here. Lukman has just had an impressive tournament. Like he's probably going to be one of the players of the tournament for sure. Um, Ola Aina, Zaidu, you need to get your crosses in. Uh, and Victor Osimhen. It's about time. This man has had three disallowed goals in every single game. Like every game, he has to get disallowed goal. He has only scored one goal in the whole tournament. Which is quite surprising. Um, Nobali looks really solid at the back. Um, yeah, and then Max Gradel really is. I, I like. I, I, I never had any hope for <laughs> Max Gradel. Like this guy is so old. I'm just like he reminds me of Ayu, but in a way they know how to use him better than Ghana using the Ayu brothers. Or, uh, actually, the Ayu brothers are just being forced onto us. Um, Adingra coming off the bench, he he would he was just a game changer. He made such a big difference. I think they're going to have Kusonu back. I don't know whether you start him because I, I I don't think you start Willy Boli in this game. Um, uh, who else? Obviously the midfield Seri has been good. I think Seri is the, like the perfect foil for Seko Fofana and Frank Kessie. Um, and then you bring Sangari off the bench, or you put start with Kessie on the bench and and start with Sangari. Have Casey on the bench and start Sangari. So either of those works, but one of them has to stay on the bench and bring the energy in the second half. Um, when you look at the benches, I still believe that uh, South uh, sorry Nigeria have game changers in the likes of Chukweze, Kelechi, and Nacho, who I think has only played like six minutes but scored the winning penalty in the last game. Um, and uh, Kwame for, for Cote d'Ivoire. For me, those are the two key players coming off the bench for both teams. But, but... But I am seeing Nigeria lift this tournament. I am seeing Nigeria lifting AFCON 2023. I am seeing Nigeria. I'm not even going to give a prediction in terms of scores because I, the, I, I got like five or six scores out of eight in the beginning of the tournament. I don't think I've gotten one since. So I'm not even going to try. But I have a very, I have a very strong suspicion we're going to penalties. And Nigeria are going to lift AFCON 2023. And I will be there in my awesome jersey celebrating and shouting in the faces of Cote d'Ivoire fans, especially you, Lupo. I'm looking at you. Nigeria to win AFCON 2023.